Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is my star player review of Rowana Forestfoot. So um, yeah, the new model has just come out and there is an article on warhammercommunity.com. I shall link that in the description. And so yeah, I mean the big thing is the model, right? The rules are already out. So uh, in Spike Magazine, episode 17. So you can see she's actually very much like the artwork. Very, very much like the artwork. And uh, you know, looks cool, doesn't it? Lots of people are happy. To get the model um, so yeah let's have a look at the article full-size stag yeah I don't think it is actually a full-size stag is it stags can be pretty big um, I think it's probably a little bit small for a stag but never mind <laughs> there you go it's funny this saying that bring a stag on the pitch hardly seems unfair because the fluff was that mounts were completely banned and then they've since gone back on that, so there you go. But yeah, you can see they're a bit bigger. It's the new model. It's a gnome. <laughs> and uh, yep, there you go. Flash hoof. Mm. So there you go. Level headed, not a trickster. But yeah, look, here's the here's the art. It's like almost identical. It's really crazy. You've got the pigeon with a red card. Almost the same pose. Painted the same. Incredible how close it is, how close the art is to the uh, model. And vice versa. The pigeons shadow every move and dive bomb other players. It's not even. It's not even enough that she's got a stag. And uh, yeah, here's the bounding leap. This is a special rule, which is actually a really good special rule. Once per game, after declaring that she will leap, but not be but before rolling any dice. One of the very rare things that you have to do before rolling dice, right, when it comes to skill usages. Um, she can use this. She suffers no negative modifiers to the agility test and may re-roll it. Um, so, her agility is 3+. plus. So what that means is, when you do a leap once a game, it's only 11% to fail. Which is pretty good. That's like that's really good, right? Like that's pretty much the best leap in the game. Um, I, I guess like there's maybe you could have like an add one plus player jump into a three man cage and use a team reroll. But the fact that she gets that without using the team reroll, really incredible. And it says there she's one sixty k. Pre orders soon. So here's the star player card of Rowana Forestfoot. Her, this was in the Spike issue 17. Plays for Halfling Thimble Cup, which is, of course, Halflings and Gnomes. If you look at a stat line, it's 633, 4+, plus, A+. And so, I mean, that makes her essentially a Hobgoblin. If you like, a Hobgoblin or an Amazon line woman, because she's also got Dodge. 160k. So, you know, it's quite a cheap star. And got a bunch of skills on top of the dodge. Um, you've got jump off, guard, horns, jump up, and leap. Now, Lona 4 plus is completely average. So, if we have a look at the skills and how might you want to use this. So, dump off. Dump off implies ball carrier, as does movement 6 and strength 3. You know, so they're, they're some pretty good things. Adds 3 plus is fine. Dodge is good. So, she's got a couple of things that make her a good ball carry. Also, a leap as well, right? She hasn't got stunty. That's uh, pretty crucial. She has not got stunty because obviously she's riding a stag. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the dodge and the leap makes her a good. And the dump off essentially makes her a good ball carrier. The horns, too, a little bit as well, right? She can blitz her way through. She can use the bounding leap. She can make an 8 out of 9 jump at some point in the game or leap some point in the game. So, you can use that to make a touchdown, can blitz out with horns. That's pretty dangerous though, right? Because she's alone at 4+, plus and doesn't have block or wrestle. So not great to hit with. Um, but you know, can be a little bit... I think the dodge, the dump off makes it look like they wanted to be a ball carrier, which I think you can basically forget the fact that she's got dump off. It's not a good skill. You're almost never ever going to use it. But, you know, you could use it to carry the ball, potentially, because she's faster than a halfling, faster than a gnome, and has strength three as well to, like, make, you know, a board durable carrier. Dodge is obviously great. We all know what that does. It's, you know, helps you get knocked over and means in a pinch you can make a dodge with her. That's fine. Guard is maybe the best skill in the game, right? I, I think it's debatable between block and guard. 
but um, guard is just incredible, you know, especially with having the two guard players already on a known team, or, or like, you know, using it sometimes. The, the problem is, if you use the guard, you're going to get hit, and you don't really want to get hit, only AV8+, plus and strength 3, so you don't really want to get hit, no block or wrestle again, so that, that, that's the main weakness. If you had block, be a top quality player, um, but, you know, doesn't have that. <laughs> Does have horns. Interestingly, like like Rumbelow, right? Rumbelow has has horns and block. Um, Ryan does not have block, but she's got horns. So the horns isn't as good because she hasn't got block or tackle. So, but particularly the block, you don't want to turn over with her. So you're not going to really use it to hit much. Um, if you have to, you've got horns. And to be fair, with the leap and the bounding leap special rule, there'll be a time when an eight out of nine leap for a two dice block on the ball carrier is going to be a pretty desirable action. And, you know, the fact that you're halflings or gnomes, that might come up more than you'd like and quicker than you'd like. Um, so, you know, if your players are in a great position to capitalise on a ball sack, by all means, jump in and go for the horns. It's just, it's always going to be a bit risky, right, with loner and without block or wrestle. Jump up, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, it, it's an agility skill, so normally you'd have to pay double for it with most players and stuff, but... Or, you know, I mean, <laughs> if you look at her like a normal player, but she's not a normal player because she's on the halfling thimble cup, is she? So... I don't know, like, but if you compare it to like an Amazon line woman, then um, the jump up, it should cost more. The dump off should cost more. The guard should cost more. The horns you couldn't even get. The leap should cost more. So all these like agility and uh, for passing and mutation skills, normally like just an Amazon line woman couldn't get or a hobgoblin line woman couldn't get. So got a very interesting set of skills. Do they all work together? Kind of. Um, it's mostly just going to be like a utility play, right? Like moseying around, maybe making it. You know, it is a strength four blitz at the end of the day. And you're on a strength two team, so sometimes that's going to be a thing. The problem is if you want a blitzer, you'll get run below. Um, if you want a carrier, you'll get puggy. So she's in this weird state where she's really none of those things. But she does get you this... This, I mean, it's an incredible, honestly, it's an incredible 3 plus sleep in with a reroll. So, if, if you're playing something that doesn't have much guard, but likes to cage, <laughs> then the fact that she can get this leap in to two dice the ball, it can be good. I, I don't hate her, but I think in general you'd use her with Rumbelow or with Puggy. And again, maybe Puggy and Rumbelow is just better. Um, but she's interesting. I could see. I could see maybe, you know, using her if the other one was banned or if, like, you needed two blitzers more than you need a blitzer and a carrier. I don't know. I, I am struggling. I'm struggling here, okay? I'm struggling to be positive. But the leap is really good. The leap is really good. So if you can really think of a situation where that strength four leap is going to be really fantastic, then um, she's your woman. So there you go. And, you know cool model isn't it so that's i'm sure people will like that and uh yep there you go thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic